All right, what is up, what is up, what is up? Uh, I have to figure out how I'm going to stuff all the keywords together in this YouTube title. Thankfully, uh, this thing is just simply called Universe, and ApeView is called Ape Universe, so I don't have to worry too much. <laughs> but a uh, while ago, I put in a total of like $2,500, I think at the time, uh, into Universe, and now that junk is worth, uh, let me see, how much is it actually worth right now? Uh, switch to my real account, and I'm going to switch to Avalanche. So I've, I've definitely been trying to pull out money from Universe, so who knows how much I have. And how much is this thing actually worth? It says it's worth $1,094. I mean, I can, I can kind of tell you guys because, well, hey, it's a loss-ish, not really. Um, because this stuff is locked in forever, so it's not like I can just pull it out. <laughs> the phrasing on that doesn't sound right. Uh, but this doesn't include all the profit taking I've been doing on this project. So, and I definitely was taking pro uh, profits when the universe was, you know, worth way higher. So, I don't remember the last time I did a universe video, but if you remember, right, the only thing that I really cared about was this, the circulating supply, and it has gone down so much since then. This, the circulating supply is actually really low, and I think it continues to go down too. So. I actually think the devs or whoever her treasury person is, if she, if she has someone else do it, is actually doing the right thing and doing whatever it is they need to be doing, right? So I assume maybe buybacks and burns or buybacks and then, I don't know. But this thing used to be like way higher, like 20 billion, and now it's down to like basically ha like by almost half. And that's why the price has been stabilizing. So it's very good. At first I was getting really pissed at Universe because they kept making changes, they kept modifying everything. They kept nerfing all the rewards, and it just looked like the price kept going down. So I was like, you fucking idiots, you know, you're pissing me off. So, but the good news is, you know, I have a rule, right? I don't make FUD videos. I just complain about it in, you know, this, so I can, I, so I admit, so I have a way to vent, but I don't cause, you know, because what I actually don't want to do, let's say I had like, let's say I had like a million subscribers on YouTube, right? So I'd be crazy influential. So even then, I would have to maybe modify my language a little bit at that point, right? But let's just say a million. You know, I don't want to be making a video that just says, Universe sucks. I fucking hate this project. Fuck you, you know? And, and then what, what do you think is going to happen, right? Everyone's going to start dumping on the project, right? So, you know, technically it's still legit, right? It's not a rug pull, and she is trying hard. So it's really not cool to, like, fud the project, right? So, because at that point, all, all that happens is I just hurt a lot of people. So I, I don't want to be doing that. On the other hand, I really do want to vent too. Like, you know, I do have a right to complain, right? As does everyone else. So, you know, but now that, you know, it's been a while, you know, wait and see, right? Because that's why J Jesse Lee Peterson always teaches, you know, just wait and see attitude. It actually really is a very, like, that's really like the best way to handle most things, especially in crypto. And because I waited and sawed, or saw, right? Not 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 the tool or the movie, the horror movie, but anyway, I just simply waited this out, and yeah, my patience has paid off. So it's doing better now, a lot better. Yeah, it sucks that the rewards are lower, but I mean, no, well, I mean she kind of didn't really have much of a choice. And more importantly, I just started noticing this because Ape Universe did the same thing. I didn't put two and two together until I started looking for it. They finally figured out that what you need to do is overweight like hell the buying pressure and then limit greatly the sell pressure. This was the main problem. Too many people were able to sell way too freaking much. So not only do you have to wait 24 hours to dump 7 million if you're a whale, right? That's all you can dump, right? And then, yeah, and, and then you do, but then everyone else can buy. Right, because before everything was even, even Steven, right? Two hundred million sells, two hundred million buys. That that was what was actually killing everything. And on top of that, you can also only transfer out this much. So I think if you're a whale and you get screwed by these, I think the only way you can get uh start diversifying a little bit is to, well, first of all, if you have like a really large planet and you're a whale, you just basically got fucked. Yeah, it basically means your cell cap is now just seven million units a day. So that's it, you know, you're, you're, you're stuck. 
Well, if you have a bunch of plants where you did not merge them, because I have nothing in this account, obviously, so you don't see the merge button, but there's a merge button, right? If you mer if you did not merge, you can actually just select certain plants to merge and then trade it to yourself through Tofu NFT or whatever, right? I I've never done it before, but that's how you would launder your, that's how you would get around the nerf if you were a whale. But, uh, but yeah, this is very good, right? Overweight buys limit the cells. So it's working very well. So that's pretty much it for universe. And, you know, I will obviously, and then obviously just continue looking at this. As long as this number stays stable or goes down, then you're Tamaguchi. You're, you're good to go. All right. And then, of course, they, she also modified the reward so that, like, basically all the real good daily APRs come from, like, crazy amounts of compounding. So, so at, at first I thought, isn't this eventually still going to blow up? But because you have this here, there, there, there actually comes a point where there's no point in compounding. Or you'll have to compound so much and then take profit and then keep compounding more. Where basically your tier 0 or tier 1 planet, right, with basically no compounding, somehow produces 7 million units. That's going to take a long time. You need like a really valuable planet, right? I don't, I don't, wanna, I don't feel like doing the math on this, but it's going to be a lot. So... So I'm pretty sad. So I'm finally happy with Universe, right? You know, I assume there's going to be more stupid changes. But as long as the price is stable or preferably goes up and I see the circulating supply remain relatively the same or goes down, then obviously I'll tolerate it. Also, I have no choice because obviously I can't, I can't. How do I exit this project, right? I have to, I have to sell my planet on like Tofu NFT, something I've never done before at a massive loss. So you know what? I'm just going to pull out whatever I can pull out from this. So, I, I, yeah, I mean, I told you the real numbers. So I think right now I'm making, like, right now I have a Tier 1 planet. I've already compounded twice. I decided to say, screw it. And, by the way, they said there was no sell limit. Like, you need 100,000 unit to sell. They said they removed it. That's actually still there. So you still need 100,000 unit before you're allowed to sell on Trader Joe. It is what it is. So right now I am making 51,718 unit a day, which is approximately $11.26 at my current rate. So what I'm actually trying to do is I'm trying to make it so that I can pull profit every two days. Because I, I need to, because I, I can only sell at 100,000 unit right now. So. So five, whatever, it is what it is. You know, at least it's stabilizing and actually going back up a little bit. Now, Ape Universe is one of my, uh, now again, I don't normally do node projects, but Ape Universe, I mean, the dev was in the Elite Discord. I think he was one of the first founding members of the Elite Discord, so that's why I had no problem with this project. So, you know, I already got the, on the whitelist for this. It's doing very well. There's more and more apes. Actually, you can't see because my stupid camera, right, on the upper right corner. So it's. This, so this project was stealth launched, and I actually noticed, just like Caesar, that stealth launches are actually really good. For whatever reason, it bypasses the bots, it bypasses the whales, and they actually minimize the damage that these assholes do to your project, medium to long term, and even short term. Because what happens is the bots and whales buy up all your shit, and then they hyper dump it you know, after a few days or a few weeks, and then your project dies. So stealth launches are actually really good. Of course, the downside is, is it a rug pull, right? Obviously, I know this was not a rug pull, so I had all the advantage in the world. So not only did I get on the whitelist, and you can only buy a $100 or 100 mem of APU. Obviously, I did the full amount, 100 You know, I actually bought a little more on launch, and yeah, I'm very happy with my investment on this. So uh, I guess I could tell you it's not that big of a number. Uh, right now, okay, I'm actually not going to tell you. It's still not a very large amount, relatively speaking, but I'd rather not reveal too much. Remember, I only want to tell people my losses, not my gains, right? Because I want people to think I don't have that much money when I actually do. So, you know, yeah, it's, it's just to keep myself safe, you know. So anyway, uh, there's a lot of numbers here. So what do we, uh, where do we start? Okay, so total supply has actually been going down. Uh, it's actually kind of interesting because I think the developers actually have a closed reward system. I'm not really sure, all right, because I haven't been observing the snow trace on Ape Universe. But this, it used to be 28 billion, then 27, then 26. Now it's down to 25 billion. So this thing is going down, perfect. 
Uh, then you have your total emissions a day, burn from renaming. So there it came out with this. All right, and you have your total value locked. So you could see here that, you know, relatively speaking, these are still pretty large, right? You know, they still overweighted the buy pressure. So that's what stabilized the price a lot in APU. And then for now, the sell pressure and transfer pressure is still 100 million, which is still way too much. But again, the project is very new. And obviously, you know, PJ or, I don't know, actually, what, what name does he go by? Steve Irwin? Wait, Steve Irwin. Ir Irvin. Oh, I'm confusing what Irwin from Attack from Titan, man. So, but anyway, it was, the, it was the guy that was like that crazy Australian, you know, animal hunter thing that would like do these crazy things. Right, and then somehow not die, and then he just died from like a random stingray shot to the chest, and he just died instantly. <laughs> it was like, it was like the craziest of ironies. But anyway, was that that last the Steve Irwin guy? I think I'm pronouncing his name right. So the simple fact that uh, the devs on Ape Universe are obviously watching like crazy what Universe is doing, right? Because obviously there's a Unif fork. You know, they already know to you know make sure they you know make sure that the sell and transfer pressure doesn't get out of control because the simple fact that the buys are already overweighted of, uh, versus sell and transfer already tells you that they know what they're doing and obviously i know that they, they know what they're doing because they were in the elite discord so we had all sorts of talks you know so i'm very happy with the uh, my investment in ap universe basically i put in almost nothing because there wasn't much to you were allowed to buy and that's perfect because everyone else had a very fair chance all right it was a very smooth launch. Everything worked out great for me. And now, you know, I'm making uh, decent money, right? And right now, uh, it takes 12 hours to compound or, uh, or complain. Compound or claim. So what I'm personally doing is basically compound every 12 hours or so or a little after if I, you know, just happen to just be distracted. And then next, I withdraw to profit of course because what i always say take profits every day no matter how good you think the project is just take profits every day because something stupid always happens right caniverse for example i took profits i are i'm in that project risk-free now literally risk-free plus a lot of extra profit and then you know georgie is still working on version two of the contract so it's basically making no money so there's a lot of things that could just happen so that's why you always want to take profit because you don't want me in a situation like Metaverse Pro or 2130 where I just get fucked in the ass, right? You get raped up the ass without your permission, and then, like, your husband or your wife get mad at you, right? Because apparently some of you are actually married. So, yeah. So just, just play it safe, right? Don't play greedy, right? This, isn't, this is not StarCraft. Don't play greedy, all right? Just... <laughs> Just, just just take it one day at a time. So nice and balanced, right? Nice and balanced. Because you kind of have to because crypto by itself is already very volatile and high risk. So you need to mitigate the damage from hot being high risk by making it, by doing safer plays, right? So on one hand, I want to keep growing my eight views, which of course I'm doing. So I compound every 12 hours or after 12 hours. And then the next cycle, when my claim or compound buns up, I would draw profit. Doing, it's doing really well. I, I pretty much have almost gotten back all my money from Ape Universe, and I didn't even put in that much. Yeah, you know, I, 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 and I would have put in a lot more if I actually had more spare cash, but I don't. So I just I work with what I got. All right, but I know eventually when I have my forty nine mansions in R and D playmates, right? You know, yeah, it's like you know I'm not gonna have to worry about money in like two months. Like that's the backup plan. Right, but I got all these other projects too that I'm in. So, you know, I'm sitting pretty. You know, I know shit looks bad in the markets, but that's just the way it goes. And of course, of course, Bitcoin and crypto is going down. Of course, of course, of course. Yeah. All right. Well, it's 9:17 a.m. So I'm sure Greg Manorito's video must be up. Actually, let's take a look. Is it up? Commodity prices continue to skyrocket. Safety fear trade to play. Yeah. See, it's so annoying. Stuff is surging except crypto. But crypto is supposed to be surging too, along with stuff. It's so annoying and frustrating, man. Oh, fucking globalists. Fucking globo H word. But we need to do. Anyway, I think that's pretty much it. 
so you can decide if you want to get into APU or not. I mean, it's obviously a legit project, right? I'm willing to stake my reputation on it because obviously they're all in the elite Discord. So I mean, I don't, I don't think this is a scam, right? And it's obviously pretty stable. They already learned everything from Universe, and they're doing their own little thing. And of course, I'm sure they're gonna lower the sell thing, like if it actually starts doing damage to the price. But again, the project APU is so new. And it was stealth launched, right? There's very little money in here and little tokens. That's not a problem. And again, the circulating supply, I think, is actually closed. Like, it's just like Canaverse World uh, and Playmates. So it does not mint new tokens. Not, I haven't observed it yet, but it's kind of looking that way. And then, of course, when the product, when APU, the protocol, actually needs more tokens, then it'll start printing, right? Because obviously people are making 3% a day or whatever. So it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good, you know. So hey, that's it for me today. I did all the contents. You know, I've got some more projects down the line. Because I've been told about Stone Finance, XOM Finance, and something called Dark Crypto, which is on Kronos. So those are brand new that I need to take a look at. And of course, wait them out. So next videos will probably be Scarab Finance and Alpha Nodes Finance. Yeah, because Scarab Finance at this point is already better than 2 ohm and 3 ohm. It pays more APR and it's more stable. So it's like... I'm so, I'm so, I'm so irritated, but that's just how it goes. You know, you, you make a lot of money and then you lose a lot of money and then you make even more money. And it's, it, it's, it, that's just how it goes. It would be nice if I could find a way to not have that happen. So that's what I'm currently looking into. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, share the video around. And yes, I am actually looking into increasing my Titano holdings and Caesar holdings. Because I think right now, that's actually pretty much the safest bet of, of all ironings. But, you know... Of course, there's a tax system, but I mean, that's kind of the reason why maybe its price is holding steady because everything's going down except Caesar and Titano. They hold their value very well. Even to a lesser degree, Univ and Ape Universe also are holding value relatively well. So, and I don't want to hold my money in like Playmates, right? Because that is a little more, that is more volatile. So that, that doesn't count. I want something, I want something safe, safe and easy. So. But Caesar is too new, right? I just did the video on it, I think, two days ago, right? That was my last recording sessions. But, you know, I'm adding, like, right now I'm adding, like, 25 bucks. If I if I pull out more profit tonight in my ta daily tonight, you know, daily profit-taking thing, right? You know, I'll put, like, 35 or 50 bucks a day. I just keep building it up, all right? And then I got to figure something out for Titano. I think when Cataverse World version 2 finally freaking comes out, I'll be doing the same thing. Compound one day, withdraw money the next, and then I take that Caniverse profit and put it in the Titano. Because I really do want to rebuild my Titano. That that clown is almost back to 17 cents. God, if only I had put all my money in Titano in, instead of Metaverse Pro, but I didn't know that Titano existed. I I, I hate this. I hate, I hate this so much. I'll see you in like a few days, in a couple days or whatever, you know. Uh, so, yeah, thanks.